Hey guys, you're the fans. This is Carl Reddish, and we are at KMC Tyler, Texas, and it is July 5th, 2014. This is a deck tech with none other than Team CLG, who put two people in the top eight, Robert Haybear and Joe Bass. Not only that, but Joe Bass got all the way to the finals using this exact list, and Haybear, you, you were running this uh, yeah, exactly. card for cards? Yeah. Okay, now let's do a little backstory. You were saying that this is essentially two cards different from your LCQ deck from Summer Champs. Yes, it's two cards different. It's the deck that uh, Noah Kessel and Joe worked on uh, pretty extensively. Um, they've, been, they've been playing it basically since uh, winter season. Okay. And it went on uh, through you know summer season. And we just kept tweaking it, tweaking it, tweaking it. And this is basically where it's at. Like, it's two cards different from the LCQ list. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's super consistent. It's very solid. And... It puts in work. Joe, you, you made top eight at yes. uh, Summer Championship, second one, congratulations. And Noah Kessel as well. And were you guys both playing? The exact same board. Same yeah. with Durkin? Uh, Durkin 2 and Tyler Hines. Yeah, and you guys all made top 16? Yes. Actually top 10, I think. They all made uh, four in top 10? I made top yes. four, and Durkin got 10. Yeah, four in the top 10. Um, I apologize for not getting a deck tech on this earlier, man. This deck is hot right now. You know, uh, let's talk about the curve. Well, I put it in curve as opposed to color, simply because you know this thing just is tempo it curves out. Yes. You wanna you wanna go with a turn two, crack in to slow down, rush stuff like that. Well, that's mainly in here for this. Prime. Yeah. yeah. And the rush matchup, but mostly mostly be Okay. Turn two cyber scan. Forty-one yes. cards. Um, I'm right. out there for control hex. Okay. Like, um, it's really good versus like your life fire darkness nature. Or any of your, your control decks that are trying to ramp, um, because you can pretty much just it really should like turn two scamp really shuts off uh, and turns players away from playing the turn three mez. and it's just it's just really good for some control. So it's, it's really good. Yeah, it's mainly in there to stop uh, that card is very back. Real quick, what was the two card difference from LCQ? Uh, the two card difference from the LCQ was uh, uh, was we had Broodmother was another Hemunculon, and then one and Jack. Yeah, we weren't playing. Uh, we were playing. We were playing yeah. I think it was like that. No, no, no. It was three. It was we cut an and Jack, and we cut this. And we had three of these. Okay. So. Okay. Very, it's on, very it's on uh, the Kaijudo channel. You check yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. For deck checks and, and deck For list check out. Yeah, the database. Yeah. Kaijudo yeah. channel.com. Shout out to Corey. Shout out to Corey. Yeah. Glenn Horace. The guy's amazing. How, how good was this guy today? Uh, most of the time, he would just go right to mana. But uh, he's. Yeah, man. He's, he's probably. Besides piercing judgment in a lot of matchups, Bronze on game is probably one of your best early mana drops okay. because he unlocks uh, the, your two most important uh, civilizations. civilizations. It's just because you're really light on uh, water and nature. Yeah, it allows a turn to cyber scan, turn three, turn up, yeah. and, and you don't lose a lot of value that way. Because you have a lot more untapped light sources, okay. so it allows you to kind of more smoothly play sword horn on three, which is insanely important for the majority of the matchups. Okay. Uh, tricky turn up? Tricky turn up. Undyson? Undyson. <laughs> um, being able to not be targeted is completely a blowout in a lot of games. Um, I mean, like I said, we don't have Storm Spark in that um, It's a solid, uh, it's an unanswerable evil bait for Anjak. Okay. Yeah. Which is huge yeah. in the mirror match yes. because they, they play BBP on our Final Prime. Kill like one or two of your dudes, and then you and Jack up, trigger turn up, kill their blood reveal. They thought about it like Ray Tate's working hard behind. Crazy. Yeah, and then if they answer, you wind up bringing back PPR or something, you know, something else. I just. It's just, yeah, it's really, really solid. Tricky turn up is really good. Especially when you the game. Yeah, so even if they, if they root trap the Anjak or yeah. tear up the Anjak, or, yeah. you're, you're getting value time. You're getting value time, and something's coming back. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, simple beat stick. Sword horn. Probably the best comedy uh, in standard. Yes. All the way for Clash. Very good with the uh, piercing judgment and stuff. Yeah. yeah, turn three sword horn into piercing judgment is really good. And this is hard to answer. I mean, as far as the common goes. So. Psychic Predator Rosalka, locking down stuff. This is for, like, you want to try and get your guys in on giant evos that you can't answer. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a thing where somebody legitimately okay. yes. yes. Definitely really good. Uh, Keeper of Lost? Ooh. Uh, probably, I'd like to say it's the best four drop in the deck, but versus control versus other, uh, 
versus the majority of the deck. Being able to have an untargetable creature that winds up drawing you cards off your opponent's shield blast, or just other type of cards, and then just having another, just having untargetable evil bait for things like Sasha. Well, it's, and just when you, just being not being able to be targeted when you go to push for game. Mm -hmm. it's, that along with Tricky Turner. Yeah. Some just crazy stuff. Yeah, uh, piercing, just, piercing Judgment? Um, probably your, one of your best turn four plays against the Panopter deck. Oh, against Panopter? Yes. Okay. Because uh, what, you, what you really want to do like, versus Panopter is like you want to land, say, like Swordhorn into Piercing Judgment. Ooh, tap. Yeah, because what happens is you want to you disrupt them before they get to uh, Blinded Beat Apart. Yeah. So if you can, because they'll usually have at least two creatures out, yeah. or they won't have any creatures out. Yeah. And so just being able to have the early board dominance, and even in the mirror, um, just being able to keep your opponent uh, off the BBP, uh, BBP war. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep the board clear. Yeah. 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 Were there times where maybe they had one one keeper of laws on the field, and you had a cyber scam, you, you bounce your own cyber scam back, tap their laws? Yes, yes. It's, it's so fun. There was crazy a, good card. I was playing against uh, Brayden uh, Nesroth. Yeah, I was playing against Brayden Nesroth in round three. And I had a Sword Horn in play and a Cyrus Camp. He, was, he had four mana, he only had one card left, and I knew, I knew he was full of BBP. Yeah. And so I pierce some judgment, my own scamp, and yep. then tap his crack, Absolutely. and then just kill his crack. And then he's just sitting there with an Evo, and I, I'm able just to keep going there for him. Let's talk about Anjak real quick. Okay. Uh, very good in the Temple Mirrors. It's okay against the Seems good against uh, Hive Queen. Yes. Oh, yes. Just the fact that he's a five drop uh, is like Noah was really adamant about Anjak. Uh, like we were hesitant at first, but like we were trying to play it and over and over and over again. Uh, just being able, to, like the five drop eight K bodies are so relevant, uh, and the fact that. Whenever you're able to say mana like blue, whenever you're able to like mana say Breed Mother, yeah, and you're able to Evo and Jack, and then trade with a uh, Hive Queen, um, mo just multiple other Evos, you're able to trade or just go over. And then if it gets answered, being able to go into mana and then basically bring back a Breed Mother, yeah. or bring back a PPR to lock something down, mm -hmm. or a Keeper Raws to have the untargetable guy to be able to, you know, Evo on the Sasha or something like that. It's, it's really, 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 uh, it's just, it's a solid five drop Evo for green. And it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> and we've been talking about it for a while, so. Yeah, I mean, the majority of these cards have bounce and just inherent value. Yes. And he just, he just screams it. Speaking of value, Broodmother. This card is insane. Incubate is I've, just... I've grown to love that card. It's yeah. One of my favorites. And a, a lot of things uh, you'll catch some players is... Uh, you almost always get two creatures out of the deck. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, at least one. Yeah, at least one. Uh, but the best part is, like, a lot of people forget about Protector. Oh, yeah. When you're playing. And it's like, so they'll go to they'll go to swing in and kill something. And he's like, you should protect. And it's like, it may seem like, you know, oh, it's just, you know... Everybody knows about Protector, but yeah. Some people, you know, they just forget. It's a common creature. Yeah. 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 That it has and, and also, Protector is not affected by Psionic Lockout. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So, uh, very cool. <laughs> this was a one of. I thought you ran multiples against you. And I was playing around like multiples against you. Too. That's no. the beauty of having ones and twos up. Yeah, it's, 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 a, a, lot. it's a very saucy I saucy love this deck. card. It's an Enforcer, it's a Mega Bug. Uh, Mega Bug doesn't matter in this matchup or in this deck. But, uh, you know, Momox Nature does a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, George. We're only playing as a one of mostly because we have five. Eight five drops. Yeah. Temple, you obviously want a You don't want to be playing all these five drops. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just it's one of those like you had to kind of keep the dual sips low, uh, especially since we're running rene uh, renegades. So it was like as you're looking, and I was like, well, since we're running Anjak, like said, you know, like uh, you said, like, multiple fives. And then when dual sips were running, it's like the most uh, the most logical. Uh, Choice to cut is every other, every yeah. Other, yeah, every other five drop is just strictly better in the deck. And keeps so, the dual sit down. Yeah, keeps the dual sit down low. And I mean, it's, 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 it's always a one of, I mean, you see it a lot. I mean, you see it more 
often would you think you'd, uh, the demon you would? Um, just, you know, between Broodmother and Finbar Triggers, you're, winding, you're drawing a lot of cards in the deck, and then especially with the reverberate. Um, but I mean, it's, it's really there just because you need to have like, a solid answer for, you know, you, you, tap, you tap something, give Anjak uh, plus 3,000, get over their, their big, you know, it allows you to lose a trade. A huge know. thing in the mirror match is that this plus this kills five mirror prime. Yes. Yes. That came up like two or three times for me today. It's huge. Yeah. Speaking of primes, you got two primes right here. Yes. Lots of bait for it. Um, you know, just seven. Not counting. Yeah. So you can't. I mean, you can't realistically count on this um, because it's uh, it's one of those. that's like, it's like you, have to count you don't want to bank you, on it. You don't want to bank on. It. You have to count on what you you know that you're going to be able to consistently play throughout the course of the day. And uh, it's like we kind of went back and forth, like it, of whether or not it should have been three or if it should have been two. Two is like it's just very high. Yeah. And so it's it's one of those it's it's the five drop of the, it's a five drop evil of the format. I mean it's it's the meta five drop. Everybody plays BBDs. Is it going down? Are you casting Finbar? Yes. We're casting Finbar. I, I completely understand why that's a three of It's amazing. Yeah. Finbar's command, Finbar's hover hex. Um, Still very good cards. Yeah. It just, I mean, it just gets in there and it allows you to bounce something. Uh, bounce, you bounce a Evo and you just, like, just swing it on and get in cards. And it goes very well. It's just really solid to have in the Sasha. Because if you unleash, you just wind up having these cards. Protection. What's the best matchup for Reverberate? Uh, it's mainly the Panopter decks. It's, okay. it's, it's not bad in the mirror match. Oh, Panopter, because they're not giving you shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they don't okay. give you shields. They don't give you shields until they're like Sharks and Sasha. And and we first played two of it in Champs, because we expected a lot of the Panopter kind of controlling decks. Turtle decks. Yeah, yeah. The, the Agrix decks with Discord. So we played this in uh, Iron Man Trees. And we just ended up. Uh, not worrying too much about uh, we didn't think as much of being here because so. <laughs> champs is obviously a more it's been known to be heavier with more control decks yeah absolutely so. um, champs is the best of the best so a lot of times you expect the best of the best decks yes and uh, I think River Rates a great answer against it uh, let's talk about two cards real quick and then we'll, we'll wrap it up uh, the Arbiter um, it's pretty self-explanatory uh, staple three of um yeah, I mean, it can just... just win games. It just wins, yeah. It's it just wins games. Match. It's like, I mean, you can compare it to Storm's Hard Blast. I mean, they attack. You always gotta, you always gotta consider whether or not your opponent has harder version of the shields. Because even early game, uh, like around turn four, turn five, where people are like really starting to get aggressive. Because like if they hit Arbiter, you just tap their guys, and then you can just threaten. You're like you threaten BGP out of nowhere, or you threaten Sasha out of nowhere. And so it, it, it just changes the completely tempo of the game. Like crazy. Plus, randomly, it could go into Blind Beetle. Yeah, and the, the fact that he's Enforcer is just nuts. So I mean, it's could have been a Mecha Thunder. Yeah, it could have been something else besides Enforcer, but the fact that he's Enforcer makes him. Let's talk about the two angel commands in the deck. Yes. Regent, Sasha. Sasha. Let's talk about Sasha. Um, um, it's, uh, it's very good in mirror match, obviously good against the rush decks. We used to play three, but that's also because we play two reverberates. I'm not sure. Like, you could add a third if you wanted to, but I think the deck's pretty good. Yeah, the, the deck is, I mean, there's hardly, I mean, there's very, maybe three to four cards. That you can like interchange for the most part. But I mean, it's like this has been, this deck's been like tweaked and tweaked to the point to where it's just. It's like a 37 card shell. Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah, it's a 37 yeah. card shell. Like, you don't have many, wiggle, like a lot of wiggle room at all. But uh, Sasha, it's it's not as good versus Panopter because they just have so many blockers and they'll just chump them. Um, it's like Joe said, it's really solid in the mirror. It's really solid versus um, you know light water, uh, light water nature, light water dark. Um, uh, rush, like rush. Yeah, any type of rush deck. Uh, if you can get Sasha, you can pretty much just jam. That's the main reason why we're playing this card is to try and beat the rush decks. Absolutely. It's like our seven man Andromeda. Well, I think this deck is amazing. It's a 40 card beast, and both of you guys piloted it to top eight. Unfortunately, you knocked into each other into the to end round, and first round of the top eight in the quarterfinals. But Joe Bass took it all the way to second place, got himself an invite to Providence, Rhode Island for the fourth Kaiju Championship. This will be your fourth 
Kai Judo Championship. Four Hoodie Club. <laughs> Four Hoodie Club, you beat me to it. And you've had two top eights already. So congratulations. So for Joe Bass and Robert Haber, I'm Carl Reddish. Uh, build this, like it, love it, and uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you for next time.